rip shirt, iPhone screen crack. Did I pay the bar top? Can't remember anything. Did I have a good time? Calling all my new girls, use a couple new lines. Sometimes I'm my own worst enemy. So um, my name is Zoe Dictus. Um, I chose design the design program here because I really like the idea of just like having a really small knit group of like a community to work with. I've always been more of a creative person, definitely. I've never really been one to be good at math or science or history. You know, I can't take an exam to save my life. But I've always, um, I've always dove into experimenting with, you know, just like my appearance or like styling and that kind of thing. And I actually went to a technical high school. And in that high school, I had to pick a major. My major was fashion. And there I learned how to sew. And then I was like, oh, you know, like this is, this is pretty fun. Like, I think I could see myself doing this. For my collection, I, I really wanted it to be something that was deep and really thought provoking and, you know, very emotionally stirring. I want to bring the audience or the viewer on a journey, perhaps. I want them to see and experience this perception of their true identity and what they experience to be their own heaven or hell. One thing I kept circling upon was um, what actually led me to develop, like further develop my thesis, which was um, adding a component of digital fashion within my, my thesis project. I'm going to have three standard garments um, that you would see in SNR typically, and my third, um, one of my, my third physical look, that's what I'm referring to, which is this look right here, is going to have three extra or three additional digitally rendered garments projected onto the dress. So I incorporated digital, digital light projection into my collection and what that is, is I'm taking components of digital softwares like Clow and After Effects and I'm really, it's projecting my digital designs onto a garment that's already made. So it gives the illusion and the embodiment of having more collection, like more pieces to the collection without actually having to make the collection itself. So that way I'm pretty much avoiding the entire process of consuming and producing more garments, but I'm still giving you the show and I'm still giving you the idea of what possible garments may look like and just not producing them at all, just producing them in a digital way that eliminates waste all, all on its own. My target customer is, um, she's, she's a powerful woman. She knows what she wants and she's not scared of what anyone says or thinks about her. She can make an apron look fierce if she wanted to and at the end of the day, the only person that she's looking to please is herself. So I'm really, really excited for people to see all the different avenues of how you know fashion can be interpreted in a way that is sustainable and actually does not consume as much waste in ways like um, producing digital fashion. So.